astronauts headed to the International Space Station. Yeah, they don't want them in space either. <laughs> the launch of Boeing's new spacecraft has been delayed again, and there is a plumbing issue, but not your typical plumbing problem. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the story. Clock stopped at T minus 3 minutes 50 seconds. With less than four minutes left on the countdown clock, Boeing's Starliner launch was halted over the weekend due to a computer issue. The launch now set for Wednesday. It can't come soon enough for Americans on the International Space Station because along with two astronauts, the Starliner will now carry some crucial cargo, a toilet pump, essential to keeping the water clean. We recycle our water up to 97%. So each, you know, each, each liter we bring up, we use it and yet we still get 97% of it back. Mike Fink helped design the space station's plumbing. He says it costs about $5,000 to bring a liter of water up to space. So without the ability to turn wastewater into drinking water, NASA's utility bill would be out of this world. Any of you who have ever out there that have a swimming pool or even a car, you know, you need to have a pump to circulate the fluids and this pump didn't, it broke early and uh, thank goodness that uh, Starliner was available. The pump is so important, the astronauts are leaving some luggage behind to make room. This isn't the first time the pump has broken, but Fink says the booming business of private space travel is making it easier to send up a replacement. We have a robust economy. We're sending uh, rockets up to space station quite a bit, so this was the next available opportunity. Until the new pump arrives, astronauts on the space station are being forced to store wastewater. A tough task in such tight quarters. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.